Hello guys, welcome to Catech Reviews. This has been a long time coming. For some. But not for me. Three years ago, I stated that Destiny 2 was such a bad game, it nearly made me quit the video game medium. The game made me so depressed, so angry, so despondent, that I had to do two videos on One being the, re the review proper, and the other being a former show on this channel known as the Scythia Ramp. But now, fast forward three years later, and the sequel is here. But to even say the word sequel is almost insulting to what it is. This is a $25 expansion pack. Nothing more, nothing less. And the worst part of it is, is it's worse than Destiny 1 is in its current form. This isn't just proof of what modern day video games are, have become for gamers, but this has become an example of what expectations are wanted from gamers. Very low ones. We have become a video game industry more atoned for just having content for content, rather than quality content. So, how does this game go wrong? In virtually every way possible. Except for its gunplay. And even then, the guns are overshadowed. Or extremely marginalized. The one thing that Disney 2 does do is provide a little bit of a reasoning of a story. It starts You're out good match. enough. The Traveler, the source of Guardian's godly power in the Disney universe, has been taken over by the Red Legion army led by a guy by the name of Dominus Gold. And because of that, he's taken away the light power that makes Guardians immortal. But, within 15 minutes of this interesting plot being introduced, your character gets his or her light back, thus making you immortal again. Thus, you must defeat Dominus Gaul, get the Trevor back, and make Guardians, well, Guardians. You see, if the whole now your mortal motif would have remained in the entire game, the game's story would have actually been thought provoking, entertaining, and have stakes. Without it, it just becomes another Destiny story. On top of that, sub -char characters alike or either melancholy about their loss of their immortality or trying to debate what to do now as the factions that made up the last city have been spurned to different planets in an act of plot convenience you must bring bring the three leaders back together again to lead a final assault before it's too late along the way Pretty much being Galactic Arid Boy for everyone else. On top of solving each planet's major problem, whether it be by the Fallen, Vex, Red Legion itself, or any myriad of enemies ripped straight from Destiny 1. There's only one new enemy type, and it's not even a good one. Not to mention, the enemy AI is at an all-time stupid low, even that sometimes you can skip complete sections without battling a foe, or even shooting a gun. Melee is just as effective, if not more so, than actual guns. But with the lack of 
without the lack of an actual difficulty setting in the main campaign, its difficulty based upon the new power level, the replacement for light, single player, player, player versus event missions are nothing more than a boomerang agonizing chore, seeing that you'll largely be over leveled for the task. Pretty much, power level works like this. It's the most stupid simple concept. Get the most powerful level of gear you can. Equip it. Don't touch it until you find another powerful piece of gear that is more powerful than the one you have. Lather, rinse, repeat. This goes for guns, armor, and more. And gear rarity is evenly spurst but way too e easy to get without the l with the rarity of legendary guns you won't be getting those rare named guns you may like like the galahorn in the first game you'll have to wait all the way through the game in order to get a few of those Plus, they introduce subclasses, but let's call subclasses what they are. Your old classes from Destiny 1, and in the case of the character that I played, the Warlock, still overpowered as ever. And don't ever change from the Voidbreaker if you're playing Warlock. It's still as broken mess as it was in the first game. The new attacks don't even do a lot to change up the flow of gameplay, and the new supercharges may look visually impressive, but they're not as tactically useful as the ones from the original game, which are in the subclasses. And the fact that the classes and your character weapons and even story don't carry over from the first one in which you'll probably have a lot more time and enjoyment invested in don't even largely carry over here it's all a big giant reset confound with with the story that's only compelling by a few characters a story that i wasn't even compelled enough to finish because of the boring, agonizing grind combined with the uninteresting environments, low graphic textures, and just the boring routine of it all. Clash. I just got sick of it. The reason it got annoying is because of its missed potential. But thankfully, the Crucible, the stuff you're seeing here, is much better balanced and actually fun. It's where Destiny 2 poses its greatest challenge. Not from anything the game can provide, but other people can provide. Clash your standard team deathmatch. Survival, a search and destroy mode. A capture the flag mode called Control make up what you'll mostly be doing and even a kill confirm style mode as well make up the multiplayer offerings maps are few but they're short symmetrical and allow for a lot of gameplay very quickly and even in the terms of the ranked gameplay things like weapon and power level are turned off in the playing field Matchmaking is faster and easier to get into matches, but loading times for the overall game are below average at best. Musically, though, is where the game wins, however. But that's a small win for a game filled with a lot of losses.
On top of this is the notion that the game doesn't really begin until level 20. After every level up after that gives you plague engrams at the new substitute for the tower known as the farm. Bright engrams are those noticeable things from the first game in which legendary gear and weapons can can be unlocked through decryption, but you don't get those through the standard level of quite yet. So you're stuck trying to trying to grind the levels up until then, and it's only then where you get to the raids and the strikes and the new night walls that are challenges for plenty of that vaunted high level gear, but again, I never played any of that because I never really wanted to bother with it. It's just a boring, tedious, un unmotivated grind that has no real reason for me to keep playing or even to lie to you. I really didn't want to play this game, let alone the hours in which I have, which is nearly about 30. Most this of the time, the I was the fighting my way through it to try to make something out of nothing. But the boring, tedious, annoy annoying grind was more than enough. And I couldn't take it anymore. It was just too boring too lacking potential or motivation in seeing that the game doesn't begin until after level 20 has been hit you'll be playing the game for at least 40 50 hours minimum before the true focus and even the best parts of the game begin and as far as this game being a solo experience it's not a very strong one this one is meant to be played with friends, but the community can be somewhat iffy in terms of trying to make them, let alone with the light system being so broken and the uh, words not being truly worth attaining other than to have a more powerful weapon until the next one is swapped there's no intentional value no hunt for the great thing everything is replaceable much like this game's development everything good in destiny 1 from the taken king on has been replaced or is either non-present here it feels like a game that's starting over again from one and even though its original framework is much better than Destiny 1's original framework, it does not excuse the myriad of missteps, bad creative decisions, floaty jumping, and poor level design as well as poor gameplay design as well. Everything else that has to do with the shooting works, but the reason you're doing it and some of the power that you'll have doesn't feel truly rewarding enough to continue the grind. And unless you have friends that are highly dedicated, even things like the Nightfall and the Raid may be out of your qualification of care. Although, this game has more cutscenes and more care to its story, it's still unmotivated. It's once again a shell of a game, one fourth of one. When the game, originally the first one, was looking complete, and if this was a mere building block upon that, Destiny 2 would be closer to what a lot of people's potential could be. But sadly, because of the Activision machine, or just plain 
laziness, or even sometimes Bungie's own ego, it will always fail to meet it. A game is only as fun as the actions that you are doing. And Destiny 2, for me at least, isn't fun because there's no motivation. There still, even after three years time, isn't a reason why Destiny 2 deserves my attention. Or my money, or my time, or my work. You could even say it doesn't even deserve this review, but it's getting it anyway. For the people that are loyal to this game and loyal to its development, I wish you luck. And I hope that Bungie can finally give you Nothing the content at a level that you deserve for the money spent and the time Traveler. spent. But I'm and sadly fight. not a believer that the day will ever come. As for Destiny 2 is not even the best that Destiny was, let alone can be. The war is over. But we have to we stop lost grading games on the potential of what could be. We have to agree on what it is. And based on what it is, it may be a step forward from its original version three years ago, but it's a step back to even what Destiny 1 began. What is a building trailer. block is once again another wall, we built a wall that you unfortunately have to pay full price to play through. Destiny 2 gets a 3 out of 10. Taken our See you next time. And now they threaten our very existence. We're going all in on this almighty. How long before the fleet's combat ready? Zavala, wait. If we wait, we die. But if we attack together, we can take back our home, our light, our hope. Or we die trying. Now, I need my fire team. I need Ikora and Keed. Guardian. Stay centered. I'll tell them, sir, but I agree. But I think they take the news better coming from you. Give me a sit rep. <laughs> 